<clears throat> Hi, y'all. Pardon me if I start coughing and stuff. I just ate some cookies. I just shouldn't have eaten. 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 Yeah, anyway. Um, in this video today, by the way, hi, I'm Patty, if you didn't know. And for the time being, to keep me centered for now, I am working on a journal that's for my sister. And I hate having to repeat this, but I'm going to repeat it again. And that is that my sister passed away on... Uh, May 29th, which was Sunday, um, this past Sunday, today is now Friday, yeah, my husband's been off one day and that's it now, so this is Friday, so anyways, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I do this when I, because I'm a journal maker, I make journals, I make them homemade, handmade, homemade, however you want to put it. Uh, this one is my mom's. It's actually, I haven't even put a, um, like, I need to put a tagger on it kind of thing. Like a label, lead, you know, so people can see it. But I don't know why, because I doubt if I ever let anybody, you know, open it up besides me. <laughs> or my daughter. Or my niece. Anyway. Um, I've already got the videos made for how to make this journal cover the way I did. Uh, the fabric that I used, I got from Walmart, uh, or a Hobby Lobby one. I think it was Walmart, though. The paper was a from a paper pack that I got at the resale store, so I have no idea where it came from. More than likely Hobby Lobby. Uh, but the company that makes it, I have no idea. Um, and this is just some fabric that, of course, again, that I got from the resale store, so I have no idea where it came from. But these uh, corner tabs, I uh, probably have that on my Amazon shop. Not Amazon shop. See, there I go again. On my website in the recommends area. You'll find that in the link in the description below. This is just basically something I'm doing for me, for my sister. You know, it gives me something to do that is related to her. And I feel like she's here with me whenever I'm making it. But yeah. Needless to say, <laughs> I am a little bit perturbed about something when I made this journal. I don't like that there's a back end of a horse here, and I don't like this blue horse that's on here. Um, I'd like to try and find a way to cover those, but I don't see how that's going to be possible unless I take another piece of that same material and see how, the, or maybe I'll just paint over it. I just realized that. Maybe I can paint over it because it looks like. You know, mountains here, and there's a ghost horse right there. There's two ghost horses. They're background horses is what they are. But anyway, um, so I thought maybe just now, this is what I thought. Maybe make like a, you know, mountain side back there. But then that wouldn't make sense with having mountains, and then there's, you know. Anyways, I'm overthinking. What I wanted to do today was add the stickles to the back of him, and maybe to the back of the horses over here and the back of their tail the back of this one only going to go as far as the journal's cover and the spine if that the back I will not be doing any of the stickling too because number one is hardly seen unless you flip it over but number two it's the bottom when you're holding a journal you're not really holding the top you're holding you, you usually got your hands all over the bottom so I don't want to feel the roughness of the stickles on the bottom. On the top, it's just for looks, for show, for prettiness, you know. I might not even put it on the ones on the sides. It's just that one's there. I might just do it to him. Yes, that's a male horse, if you can't tell. <laughs> that's why I said him. Uh, this one, I might put one on it because that's my sister's favorite horse is a uh, paint. She always loved paints. But, yeah. Um... So, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do first of all. I'm going to lay that flat so I don't mess up. I'm trying to figure out which one would be the better one to use. This is my uh, colors on the top. I just put the the color inside, you know, on the little lid there. And this one having more of a brightness to it, I could put that on there. And it looks like the sun shining on its back. I do have yellow, but I don't want to use yellow, if that makes sense to you. Hopefully it does. I do have like, uh, let's see, I want one that if I use anything on the back, I don't want it to have any like colorations, like see how this has got other colors in it. 
like greens and pinks. I don't mind the yellow because, you know, sunshine looks very pretty when it's like that. But I'm trying to see if there's another one. Whoa, everything's falling. Is this the same? No, okay. Hmm. They're about the same. This one's more white. So if I use any, it'd probably be the diamond. If I did one of those. I have everything falling over here now because I, I moved the stickles around and I have things sitting on the stickles. Um, that was back there. It's supposed to be here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Put that back on there. Um... <clears throat> I want to see. Put this against it. Hmm. Oh, I do like that one. So the copper might be what I use. Hmm. Hmm. I like the copper though. But the copper wouldn't make sense on the back though because the sunshine would be on it. Then again, yeah, it would too because the glitter is like really bright in those areas. Hmm. Hang on, y'all. Hopefully I don't screw this up. You only get one shot at things, you know? Okay. I'll put it on his mane first because there is copper in his mane. I just want to add just a few here and there. I don't want a whole bunch. To me, wild horses, you know, represents the fact that she's moved on. She's with, with God now. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, I do like that. I do, I do, I do. I just don't want to overdo it, though. Oh, I thought I touched it. But I didn't. I didn't. A little bit on there. Some of his tail. Okay. There's that. I'm going to try this one. If it don't look right, I can take this one back off and it won't be so showy. And I'll just go over it with that one. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the stuff down to the bottom of the nozzle here. I was checking to see if I turned it on. I forgot if I turned on the camera or not. I'm just trying to outline right above his, his backside. Let's see how that looks. I mean, it's not bad, but it don't match now for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer the copper. Trying to keep my finger right where it's at. So it doesn't get the stuff anywhere else. So I'm gonna stick with the copper. I see a spot right here. He's got a little bit of skin tone or fur tone. I use my fingernails to make a straight line. Just like touching places where I see there's light, like the sun's touching it in that spot, you know? And of course, gotta put it on his nose. There we go. The only one that's gonna get that put on it. Oh, I do love that. Okay. Don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to let that sit and dry. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. 
Oh, I was not going to do I'm sitting here, See, there's me second guessing myself. Because I was thinking about doing it to them, but I want him to stand out. So, okay, that's good enough. Okay, and I'm going to go put this somewhere where it can cool. And cool where it can dry and, and cure, as they say. Before I do, I'm going to let you see what it looks like that I just did. It's really hard to see from your distance up. And you see how the, the light just grabs just that, just right where the stickles was. Just only where the stickles is. Actually, I see a spot. I need to hit... On there. See, on the camera, it's not giving it justice. I mean, it's really glittery pretty, like. Okay. And then, of course, got to give the hose top of the hose. Bottom of the hooves, I mean, some steeples because it's showing there. That'll work for me. That's good enough. I don't want to overdo it because if I do, I'll mess up somehow, some way. And he's the only one that's going to stickle, he's the only one that's going to do that. I just love that. Oh, wait, I see something I do want to do though. I know I keep adding, right? I'll do it. There it is. Okay. Gotta get this just right. This is gonna be hard. I want it to be right there where that little light spot is on his eye. And when that dries, it'll dry flat. Looks a little weird right now, but <laughs> it'll dry flat and it won't have that raised look like he's demonic. <laughs> I mean, he really does right now. But when it dries, it'll dry flat like this. See how that turned flat? That was like that. It was bubbly. On the top, it sat really high, and I just set them and let them dry through the night. And they dry flat. And that's what I want to happen to this. And if it don't work out, I can always pop it back off. So there's that, too. Okay, I'm going to put this up here. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully it don't fall. <laughs> now, the next thing that we're going to do with me, that you can do with me, we're gonna, I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, you can do yours with me if you want to. Oh, the things that I've chose for the, um, for the book binding, for the uh, string to go through is this antique bronze color. I thought that would match better. I didn't have but 12, which... Hopefully it's going to be enough. It should be because I'm only putting three per uh, signature in. And I'm going to try and do the crisscross that I love doing. Uh, but I ran out, so I'm going to use one of the black uh, matte finished ones for the hole for the spine jewelry to hang from. And that's what's going to hold my signatures in. And hang on. Uh, there was something else. What was it? Uh, da, da, da. Oh. The the the, the uh, book binding string that I'm going to use is my leather. Um, it's a, it's called Duraflex. It's a tandy, a tandy grained Duraflex. It's leather grained is what it says. I don't know. Anyways, it's leather. I use this for for uh, the Red Dead Redemption journal, but it's uh, I also use it to I use it to make. Uh, headbands, hat bands, not headbands, hat bands. <laughs> uh, uh, I braid it and make it look like um, bob wire. Um, I know braiding does not look like bob wire, but uh, it it when you look at it when you make it, it actually pr looks pretty darn cool. My husband wanted me to make something like that for his hat. Haven't got around to that yet. But anyways, this is what I plan on using. It this is what it looks like up close. I don't know if it'll let me. Oh, I forgot I didn't have auto focus on. I have manual, so it'll not do that hazing when I'm working and I can't look, you know? Anyways, there's that. It's really cool. It's solid inside and everything. It's basically like 
I don't know. I really don't know what it's made out of other than I thought it was like made out of leather. But the way it makes it sound like it's not made out of leather. So I don't know. It says leather grained. So will not stretch. So I think this will be great for the um, the uh, book binding part. And I'm probably going to make like a uh, braided bob wire to go around it too possibly. I don't know. We will see when I get to that. But now I want to fix these to be into the signatures. I do have my signatures already prepared. But I'm adding to them as I go. So far there's I think 10 pages in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more. Eleven. 12, 13, and 14. There's 14 in this one. And I say about the same amount in all of them. And there's four signatures. Uh, the center to this one has roses in it because my sister loved roses. And the other three have maps in them uh, of the different places that she lived growing up. Uh, Florida being the first one. Then from Florida, um, I think Pennsylvania is actually in the middle. I'm not sure. I need to change those out because it needs to be Florida, then Texas, then Pennsylvania. Because Pennsylvania, well, and then, of course, back to Texas. But, of course, you know, <laughs> I already have Texas in there and I don't want to do that twice. But I write on the maps and it lets people know when they read it that that's where she lived. So what I'm going to be doing with these is turning these into a an additional like uh, page for the signature. These are my uh, pocket things that I do where you just take them and you tuck them. Um, the other ladies do this too, but I do mine a little different. This is what it'll look like when it's done and something like that so that it can be useful uh, and made, it, made into pockets. I don't leave mine with the long things like this. Uh, the only time I do that is if I think I'm going to add an extra page. Like if this one's inside of this one, this page will be left open. Kind of like the one I did for my niece, if y'all watch, watch that one. So anyways, I'm going to cut these down. Only one side will I cut down. The other one I will leave open. You know, leave long in other words. So let's see. I don't need it to be very long. I just need enough for it to glue down. I don't throw these away because you can always keep these. I mean, they even have sticky stuff on them, too. Okay, that one's done. Now I've got all these. My sister loved the color green. Her and my mama. That was our, their colors. They loved. My color is maroon. I love maroon. Well, I, as I was growing up, it was um, like a rose, like pink, hot pink color. And as I got older, it just became more and more maroon. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the maturing, I guess. And that's why, you know, because I matured over time. And I just chose to keep the color, you know, in you know, in that same regard. I got these at the resale store. And I want to use them because they have that embossing of roses in them. Oh, you can't see it because I forgot I took the... I took autofocus off. I have to do it manually. Can you see the... Oh, it's not going to show because I have my autofocus. There it is. You can see it. So anyways, I want to use these because it has little roses on it. And yeah, I think that's roses. I'm trying to look at it with my glasses on. I forget. Take them off, Patty. I need to get my phone back over there. I'm trying to see. Yeah, there's a rose. It's right there. And then there's a big old rose right there at the top. And then there's another leaf. And the same thing over here. There's a rose up there. It's real pretty. Just going to cut a piece off. I'm using the edge here where it bends. And then I'm going up about a quarter of an inch. Somewhere's around about. And all I need that to do is just one. And so let's put up there. And now I just need to glue these together. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. This one's going to get glued to this one. So I'm turn it around. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick those in there. Because otherwise, if I don't, I'm just going to get glue everywhere. 
try to get this one down in there. There we go. Make sure it's bent. Get it down in that spot. Lift it up. Put a little glue right here. There it goes. I was waiting for the glue to come out. I was like, I don't want to come out. Maybe I just want to stay put, lady. I need to open this up, make sure that it's not oozing out and and grab the paper and make it where I can't use it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that one's done. Now the reason why I said I don't want to do anything to this one because I'm going to add a piece of paper to that and make it into another pocket or a little uh, paper flip that she can rip off, you know, my niece, you know, because I'm going to use this at first, the journal. Write down all my memories in the journal. And then, I probably already said this many, many times already, and I'm a bad, I'm bad about repeating myself. But that comes with age, because my mom used to do the same thing. <laughs> I used to have to correct her and be like, you already told me that, Mom. <laughs> and now my own children do that to me. I feel like my mom. <laughs> Okay, that one's done. Now this one, I don't know if I want to leave that that wide, but I it gives me more support, so I think I will leave it. But why is that doing that? Hmm. They're the same on this on each end. Ooh. Oh well, not a big deal. Closes just fine, unlike that one did. Oh, I see what's going on. I'm lifting it up. Can I move it? You hurry up. <laughs> I didn't want to get it caught underneath there and see that one right there is trying to catch. still sticks up on this side and you and you and you notice that you just take your thing wipe it off because you don't want to like smudge it on the other sides just kind of like tuck it underneath there if you can get your fingernail underneath there just put it up underneath and just squirt a tiny tiny just barely squeeze it if you can keep your <laughs> there we go there we go just put a little bit underneath there press it down and press it toward the exit of it, just like that, and then I'll flatten it. And then just fold that over. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 It did. It shifted up. It moved itself. So i got to undo it while it's still a little moist. To look crappy. Sorry. Actually, I'm not going to throw that away. I can always use it somehow, some way, in some other way. It really upsets me when something goes wrong. You know? So let's do this again. I should have left it a little bit longer before I keep messing up. I'm cutting it too short. There. This time I'm just going to stick the nozzle in there only. Yep. 
you ain't got nails, there's a, there's, a, oh, I'm not going to use that one. It's too little bitty. Get a needle. Don't use the pointy side. Use the, where the eye is of the needle. Put that, be careful, don't poke yourself though. Put that up underneath like that. And just go down it. And that's what it was meant to do to begin with. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh wait, I still got one more to go. Okay, that one. Now this one. This time around, I'm going to leave these little things sticking up because it gives more, more of a thing for the whatever paper I do glue over this area. It gives it more area to stick to. And then all I have to put is a line of glue right here. You know what I mean? And then here, I put glue. And then, of course, the square of, or the U-shape. And, yeah, and then make my pockets out of it. Make sure that, that can close. Okay, so it lets me know. I'm just going to barely put my, thing, my uh, thing down in there. Just like so. Just keep pressing until it smushes through. There. Make sure that's still closed. Get my little pen again. I'll just use this one. I don't feel like grabbing another one. This is one of my broken bent ones. Okay. Look at me acting like a teacher. I have taught before, but I taught art. <laughs> this is not my kind of like area that to ta teach in, because I just started learning this stuff myself about three, well, in 2019, in December of 2019, going into 2020. This is just something I picked up doing, because I liked it. I, I really do like doing these things. So now we have that, and we do need to make them look cool as well so for the remainder of this video I'm going to decorate these up how I don't know yet so that's going to take a few minutes so I'm going to be right back I'm going to think this through before I start again be right back okay y'all found a few things of course this is not the same day I'm not going to lie to you I'm going to be honest with you this is not the same day uh, this is probably a week later. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to go into all that because I tried doing that on on the other video and it cut off on me. So this is a new, you know, I'm just going to go from here on with y'all. I will show you real quick the way the journal turned out after it dried. This is how it looks. It looks really, really good. I didn't really care for the eye, but it looks like it did turn out okay. I thought it was going to be more demonic, so it actually did dry all the way. And it's kind of glittery itself, the eye is. If it will grab it, there it goes. Now that white dot was already on there. There's the, looks really good. I don't know why, it just feels like the, the, the camera is not giving it justice. If I bring it down, there we go, that's a little bit better. And with these on there, it looks really good. This matches. So that's how it turned out, and as you already seen, the whole backing and everything, there's the inside. So you've seen all that, and I still need to put my signatures in. I haven't done that. We'll do that on another video. I just wanted to do this with y'all because I'm trying to get the signatures ready. So here's the two that I got finished that I showed you ended the other part of the video. This is the ending to end that video, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, so I thought I'd just hurry up and do one of these with you. And this is how these turned out. This is a pocket here. There's a pocket there. And I showed y'all how to put these together in the last video, I do believe. I hope I did. If not, I'll show you real quick how I did that. 
This is a uh, digital from someone on Etsy. I'll put the link in the description below, but I've already got this out on another video, so it is what it is. This is from uh, Dollar Tree. These are stickers you can get from Dollar Tree. I showed y'all that in a haul, and I was just so ecstatic about that. They're made out of a plastic, and they're raised and embossed the plastic is and they have a backing to them so they've got like this I don't know it's hard to explain you should know how these are made uh, when I was a kid I took them apart but anyways these are really cool so I thought that would look really good on that background and then there's the inside this was from a book this is a print that I found on Etsy that came with a whole set of other prints so I went ahead and used that one in here as a sticker that's actually a sticker uh, I printed it out on sticker paper for myself, not for sale. Okay, so don't do that. Uh, I only did it because it's for myself. If you're not selling it, I don't see anything wrong with it. But if you're, anyways, this is a uh, this is a digital from someone. It might be mine. I'm not sure. I think it is mine. And this is a just a paper that you get in the packs. So is this one. And as you can see, they have a texture to them. They're real pretty. And I like this one. It makes it look more farmhouse-like looking. And me and my sister always dreamed to having our own, like, me getting a ranch or her getting a ranch. And then the other, you know, having the other one live live with them on the ranch, you know. Anyways, uh, this is also from that. And I just put it on sticker paper, glued the sticker paper down just in case. I didn't want to have a chance on it coming up on its own. But you never know. Sticker paper don't, they, it tends to want to come up. This is some uh, stationary paper and a doily. One of the little tiny doilies I showed y'all. I think that's in my digital, uh, my digital, my infirmary pack. And then some stickers. And there's the green. And this is going to be a flap that I can put another piece of paper on. Here's this one. This is actually uh, blue fern, I do believe it's called. And there's the other half of that paper is printed out on uh, vellum. And I put it on the mint green pocket. I haven't cut this one yet. But I made a little uh, notepad for this one to bring out the greens and the yellows and the orangey colors in that. And that's why there's the bright yellows in there and the greens. But this is just for extra place to write on. And then there's the back piece that covered that. And this one is a book page. Uh, I painted that rose. I think I showed y'all that. I don't know. Anyways, I painted this on there. It was a... I was trying to get this painting that I did on there. I was trying to, like... <laughs> I was trying my best to, like, make a copy of it from my own hands onto there. But didn't, it never turns out that way. No, no two pieces are exactly alike from an artist. So, just saying. <laughs> so, anyways, this is on a, a vintage book page. And it was about Christianity. So I, I took that piece out and put it on here. And then I painted this beautiful flower on there. Because that's my sister's favorite kind of rose. is a salmon rose. And these are just pockets like I said. Here's a pocket and here's a pocket. And I will cut these to be a pocket or I'll just leave them as is. You know, maybe a secret pocket. I don't know. We'll see. So there's those. Now you've seen that. What happened with those. Now I'm going to finish this one with y'all. This is the big brown one that I did with y'all. I showed you how to do this. Oh, I did it upside down. I sure as the heck did. Oh, well. It's a little too late. <laughs> it is what it is. I can still put a piece of paper on this side if I have to. Not a biggie. I need to take this piece and I need to make a hinge here. This is a Martha Stewart... Um, what do you call these? Uh, hole puncher kind of thing. I got it at the resale store for $2.99. And I love it. <laughs> But it's not like something you need necessarily. You, if you've got any of those uh, Fiskar ones, they'll do just fine as your edging if you want. I'm not pulling out all my other ones. They're down at the bottom. That's the reason why I grabbed Martha Stewart's. It was right on the top. So anyways, I need to make a hinge here so that this can be pulled in and out like that. I want to do the hinge first, and then I'm going to put the paper on top of that, uh, on top of the hinge to hide the hinge. Okay, so that's what I'm fixing to do with y'all. This is just my way of doing hinges. You can use anything to make a hinge. I need to use something kind of thick. I think I'm going to use this. This is the right length, too. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to cut it down. 
It does not need to be really big. Something like that right there will be just fine. Now what I do, I get the score pal out. And if you want to know where I got this at, don't ask me because I don't know where the person got it from. I got this, uh, I drove by somebody's house and I've told this a million times because it's the most awesomest thing ever that ever has ever happened to me. It was an older man. I mean, it's a sad thing, but it was an awesome thing. He was very happy that I took it. Um, his wife had passed on and he was clearing out her room. So uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, crate that he ha she, he, he was going in her craft room and putting all that stuff in there. He said he finally got up the courage to go in there and clear out all her craft room stuff because he was going to rent out his house to give him extra cash income, and that's the reason why. Uh, he ha he's, he's learning to let go. So anyways, um, he told me to take the crates home with me, and inside of them had things like this. It had, it had tons of papers and stuff like that. Uh, she made scrapbooks, though. She didn't make junk journals or anything like that. She made scrapbooks. Okay, I scored it on this side. So I'm going to bend it backwards. It keeps it from splitting your paper if you go backwards with it. A lot of people don't know that. But if you were to fold it towards you, it would probably cause your paper to crack. Just saying. Now I'm just going to put that there. Glue it on both sides so that both pieces will hold. Now, let's do that now. I use art glitter glue if you need me to tell you about that. It's a really cool glue. It's a wet, a white wet base glue. Kind of like Elmer's is, but not. Much better than Elmer's. <laughs> it will glue fast. It's To me, I think what it does is it absorbs into the paper or something. I don't know. But it's really cool. Oh, I need to move this stuff. I don't want that. Um, put that up there. And then you come here. Anyways, yeah, it's it's really really cool stuff. I love it. I'm sure every one of the women like myself will love that kind of glue. how quick it takes. The only thing is, oh, there we go. I got it to move. So it gives you a little bit of leeway time to fix your mistake if you have to. Okay, now put a little glue down on here. I'm just going to go down it like that so that I know it takes the whole spot. And then I'm just going to lay that on there. Lining up my bend to the edge. There we go. Make sure that it's in the right spot. I'm going to bend it over. And it looks like it's pretty good. Okay. And now when it opens, this is how it'll look. So I think that's very pretty. Like I said, I want to make sure that I do a good job. This is for my sister. Not like I don't do a good job when I do my other journals, too. You can't even see it. But I will do some cool out here. I don't know what I'm going to put out there yet, so I've not gotten to that point. I wanted to use this paper as the writing spot on the inside because it has a mint green to it. My only issue is it's probably going to show those those uh, this stuff because that's what it is. So I think I'm going to grab something else. Actually, never mind. I have something right here. Um, will I have enough for both sides? That's the question. I'll go to here on this side. Will I have enough? Nope, I will not. <laughs> that's okay because I have another sheet of this. I just got to find it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I grabbed more than one. <laughs> I just couldn't get it out. It wouldn't come out. Let's put that over there. So I'm going to glue that just like that right there. One thing. And then I gotta figure out how far to close. I think I have it marked right here. Yes, I do. So I'm going to I'm gonna cut that right there. About right to there. So I'm gonna say right here. Grab my, my cutter. I'm always in a hurry to close that up like that. It was stupid of me to do. So I'm going to put this on here. Somehow it's still there. No. How did I do that then? What did I do? What the heck? Because that's where it's supposed to be. So maybe I am supposed to go this way. Yeah, I am. It scared me there for a minute. I thought I messed up. There we go. But for some reason, it's skinnier on this paper than it is on the black paper. But that's okay. Not a biggie. I have to, I'll cover that with some um, lace washi tape that I have. Now, this is where it needs to be bent, is here. And, wait a minute. Nope. Nope, I see one second. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and bend that now. done before the camera cuts off this time because I'd like to say bye to y'all this time see this this book is so old look at that it just breaks that paper is broke so it is what it is not a biggie okay so this is the back side this is the part that needs to be glued cover this back up Keep hearing something at my window. <sighs> yeah. I'm just going to glue this with the Scotch Create glue stick. Turn that over because I don't feel like messing with the ripping of the page to come off. So, yeah. I wanted to hold on to it, pain. Those sticks running low. Got to get another one. There we go. Get this out of my way. I'll just put it down there on the floor. bend. That way I know where it's supposed to go. My finger's stuck underneath the bottom. I should have known it was going to pull. No, don't you dare. Because it will grab and it will hold all the little strings. I just don't understand that glue. It's weird. I've never seen a glue stick do that. I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down like this. The heck with it. Making sure it's Right on that bend. Gotta come this way with it. There we go. Okay. Now whatever don't glue down, I can always use the uh, what do you call it? The uh, liquid glue one. If I have to. This should be okay. I 
That gives me writing area on here. On this side, I'm going to erase that because I don't want that showing. There we go. And then we're just going to, when that dries, I'm not going to fold it right now. When I open it up, it'll be like pretty matches this, and this opens up, and there's a writing spot. Okay. Now, to do the outside is something different. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll work on that on another time, but I want to make sure I got this onto a video so you can see that you can decorate these kind of things up to look pretty doggone cool. You know, I just got to make sure that we don't close this on those. It'll bend them and then they'll look stupid, you know. Yeah. That'll look good. There we go. And if I want to, I can turn a piece of this into a tag or a journal card so that whenever this gets open, it matches up with it. So... I can do that real quick with y'all. This is kind of sturdy. Just put this on top of there like that. I'm going to give it a little bit of a, like a frame to it. So I want it to be about that tall. So this one cuts here. And this one I'm going to cut about here. Because it needs to be smaller than the crate, the craft paper one. So, just in case um, I get cut off before then, I want to make sure I get this out there. Um, if, uh, number one, I have, until the 22nd of this month, you have uh, to get half price on all things in my shop. As long as you spend up to $30 worth, you'll get half price. And that includes my journals. If you buy one of my journals, it'll actually make the journal half price. Just saying, that's the least amount that I've ever done. Somebody actually bought the little bitty pink one, and I thank you. And you know who you are if you watch my shop, my, my uh, if you watch my videos. I very much thank you for buying that because she was one of my favorite. She's a little so pretty. That one was. I loved that journal. It was so pretty, and I am so glad she's going to like it. She says she does. Oh so, yeah, she got half price. I think it was like over forty dollars, and she got it for half price. So she only paid twenty something dollars for that, and that's the only thing she bought. So she got it half price. Hey, grab it, grab those deals while you can. You know while they're still in effect. Before the sale goes off. And I have added new books to my store. New vintage books I'm talking about. Trying to get all the things out of there so it's not clogged up. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of uh, vintage books on sale right now as well. Now I need my glue. <laughs> there it is. I was like, where'd my glue go? Come back here, book. Take that page off. It doesn't glue to anything. It's a horse. I don't know what horse that is. Kel Kelso. Kelso Horse of the Year. Or fifth time. <laughs> That's, I guess. Anyways. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a horse girl. My sister is too, or was too. We're both horse girls. We like horses a lot. I love to draw them, I love to ride them, I love to love them, I love my, my horse, which was my sister's at one time, because she didn't take care of it, because <laughs> she wanted the paint, 
and the lady backed out of the paint that my sister was supposed to got and my mom my sister was so mad because she wanted that paint so bad but the paint ended up being pregnant and the lady wanted to keep the paint because it was pregnant she wanted the horse she wanted the, the calf or the calf the colt it's not a calf y'all it's a colt um, did I get that too far down I did right about there Trying to straighten them out. Oh, come on, don't you dare. There. Okay. But anyways, yeah, she didn't get to get the horse that she wanted. And she was a spoiled brat. And my sister would admit it today if she was still here. Trust me, she would. And she knows she was. <laughs> But she loved, she wanted that horse. And to me, any horse, that, that, that's all I cared about. I loved horses in that way. Um, and the horse that she ended up not wanting, her name was Tar Baby. Uh, not my choice. She actually was, uh, when we bought her, she already had the name given to her. And a friend of mine told me, you know what that means. So I ended up changing the name, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, as they say. Um, yeah. I got something in my eye now. I'm trying to think, what could I put on the back? I love that design, and I like to incorporate that into it. Hmm. Where's that little piece? That's what I can do. Put that like up here. I'm going to round off the edge to it on one side. Yeah. Anyway. Good. Okay. And then we can write on the back too. And it still gives some coolness to it. It brings it together. Okay. See, these are memories I'm remembering, and it makes me mad because I want to have this journal already done. So that I can put these these memories into the journal, because that's why I'm making the journal. It's because of the memories. There we go. Now we can turn this over like that, and there we go. And all I have to do here is put a little tab so that it pulls open and close. See, that's the only thing I don't like. It's gonna. There's gonna be. See, that would be really pretty. There then, maybe that's what I'll do, just to keep that from getting all nasty. Yeah, let's do that. Wanted to use it throughout the journal. Looks like I'm gonna use it this way. You know, just in case. I don't know if I pop that off there or not. There we go, with this piece. I just make it stick to all those ones down there. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let it go to here. There we go. Bring it down just a little bit. Right about there. Oh, that looks good. I like that. The fuzzies just coming off of it. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, that turned out so pretty. I love it. And then when it turns around, this matches that. There we go. And you can ink it up if you want to. You can do stuff like that as well. And the outside, I might do it that color. Since I have these two pieces. Give, give it like some kind of design on the outside like that. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll say right about there. Uh, 
put that. One for the back and one for the front as well. Again, if I get cut off, please give this video a like if this helped you at all make any kind of things. If I if I do anything to help you at all, please give a like. If you think that I'm a nice person, give me a like. <laughs> if you think I'm an awful person, give me a like. I don't know. Just help my channel, please. I'm struggling here. That's why I'm trying to still make videos even though I'm going through the crap that I'm going through, you know. Um, you know what? I'll wait about that. I'm just going to glue this down on there like that. I don't know why I flipped that over because either way it's still the same. All these are stuck to it. So I can always go back and glue these pieces together. Just glue them together and melt and then like collage them and make them into, you know, little journal cards. that seriously stuff and also share the video it helps my channel so much if you did and I would be so thankful and when oh look at that it got it on the old side Anyways, uh, when I get to 5,000, when I hit my that marker where it's a lot of um, subscribers, um, I plan on doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to make a journal, a special journal that's real popular, themed at that time, whatever time it is, you know, whatever it's happening in that time. Oh, look at that, how that looks. I did that. That was cool. It's another one, but it's cool how that bent over and did the same thing. Okay. Now this side too, we're going to bring that in just a little, right about there. So just in case, like I said, it's 23 after now. Um, so give it a like, um, hit the subscribe button, subscribe so you don't miss any videos, hit this uh, bell notification too so you don't miss any video. If you have any requests, comments, or just want to talk, do it in the comments below. And yeah, and keep your eyes out for the description. It'll tell you that it'll give you information and stuff that maybe, you know, that you want to know about what's doing with the video. Anyways, thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for being here for me while I'm going through all this crap. Y'all have a great day. I bless you till next time.